Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at fractions in lowest terms. We're specifically going to focus on what fractions in lowest terms look like, so hopefully it'll help explain why we put fractions in lowest terms and what it looks like when they are in lowest terms. A fraction is part out of the whole. An example of this is the picture you see here. There are three parts that are blue out of the total four parts. That same amount, three out of four, could actually be shown in an infinite number of ways. Here are a couple of ways that that same amount, see the blue section that's shaded, is exactly the same in all of these pictures. Yet it can be written as three parts out of four, or nine parts out of twelve. Or it can be some triangles and some, some pentagons, some uh, trapezoids, all out of a weird shape that's left over. It could be 6 out of 8, it could be 12 out of 16, or it could be some squiggly lines. All of these are exactly the same amount. But it doesn't really mean as much, or it can be looking a little bit more complicated if we don't have it written as it is in the upper left hand corner, 3 out of 4, in lowest terms. Lowest terms is just putting a fraction in the smallest way, or in the simplest way possible. It's trying to make our life a little bit easier. For example, which is easier, 1 half or 12.5 out of 25? Which one looks easier? I think one half is, is pretty clear, one out of two, and that is the simplest form. 12.5 out of 25 is more complicated, and it would lead to more confusion. So the way that we convert a fraction into its simplest form, or into lowest terms, is that we divide both terms, both the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, by any common factor. That's how we convert a fraction. So this means this fraction of 100 out of 200 means it's 100 parts out of 200 parts. Both the numbers 100 and 200 can be divided by 100. Because they can both be divided by 100, it means 100 is what we call a common factor. It's something that both numbers can be evenly divided by. So here's how we would do that. 100 divided by 100 and 200 divided by 100 and we would be left with 1 half. Maybe you recognize that 100 out of 200 was 1 half at the beginning, but writing it as 1 half is the simplest way that we can say that amount. right? 100 out of 200 cans of beans, or half of the cans of beans. It's easier to say one half, it's easier to write one half, it's a more simple and straightforward way that everyone will recognize what amount it is. And that's what converting to lowest terms or simplest form is. For more practice with actually doing the math of converting in fractions into simplest forms, or into lowest terms, you can check out this other video that I have here on YouTube. It will give you another video of converting fractions into lowest terms. Hope that lesson was helpful for you in being able to visualize fractions in lowest terms and hopefully see why it's important to put them in lowest terms. Have a great day.